Okay, it's about 6.05 in the morning in Chicago right now. And I'm here early to speak on something serious. Because I got a lot of passion about the martial arts. And I came extra early to speak on it. Get it off my chest. Alright, this uh, video has been inspired by Todai Kane. He sent me a quick email. Give me the quote from Jackie Chan. Alright, the quote that he said he found online from Jackie Chan. He doesn't know if it's true or not, but this is what the quote is. Jackie Chan says, I, do, I don't like to see ultimate fighting, Chan said. As a martial artist, I find it too violent putting them in a cage. At the end, it's not fighting anymore. That's not the martial arts. Martial arts is about respect. When somebody is knocked down, stop. I really respect Sugar Ray Leonard. Come on. When a guy is down, stop. Don't fight. That's not the spirit. When you're down, I'll grab you up. Are you okay? Should we continue? That's the martial arts spirit. That's what I want. Okay, so according to this quote, that's what Jackie Chan said. Now you go to Wikipedia. Find out what Jet Li said about this cage fighting stuff. He doesn't support it. Jackie Chan does not support it. Jet Li does not support it. Jet Li is, is um, an Olympic athlete. I think he won like five gold medals in the Olympics in Wushu. Olympic level. He's been in hundreds of movies. A great actor. Very talented, well-rounded in a lot of things. Jet Li is the living Bruce Lee. He's trying to educate you people on what martial arts is. All these cage fighters cannot get to the Olympic level. If they were able to get to the Olympic level, they would not be doing what they're doing. They're a bunch of scrubs. They're not at that level. So we should pay attention to the people at a higher level, not to the people at a lower level. Jet Li's there. Jackie Chan, he's at a high level, but he does it in a comedic way. Alright, now, the West knows about the martial arts because of Bruce Lee. But Bruce Lee passed away at the age of 32. So people may be wondering, Oh, you know, what would have Bruce Lee thought about MMA? People, you know, the founder of the, the UFC is saying, Hey, you know, because of Bruce Lee, the, you know, that's what created the MMA. Bruce Lee's the founder of MMA. Are you kidding me? No, he's not. Bruce Lee's the founder of Jeet Kune Do, the Tao of Jeet Kune Do. Not this crap that you guys are promoting out there. Okay? Do your homework. Read the Tao of Jeet Kune Do. It's not MMA. Alright, the Do. The Tao. Study it. That's not MMA. It's not beating up people for pleasure or just beating up people because you can. It's about helping people. It's about spreading goodness to this world. And this MMA people are not doing it. They're not spreading goodness. They're destroying the reputation of all martial arts across all boards. They're destroying the reputation for everybody. No matter what you practice. Karate. Taekwondo. Jiu-Jitsu. Aikido. Hapkido. Every single martial art that has ever been invented, MMA is destroying your reputation. You need to take a stand and put this to a stop. MMA is like the McDonald's for America, for the martial arts. It's destroying people's health. Physically, it's destroying their health. Mentally and psychologically. 
and I'm gonna take the stand, I'm gonna put a stop to it. Bruce Lee's not here anymore, but you know what? I'm here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a stop to it, the best that I can. But I don't have the fame that Jet Li and Jackie Chan has, so they need to speak up. But the reason why they're not speaking up is because they probably don't want to get sued. There's too much on the line. They won't get the contracts that the, they won't be able to get the 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 film that they're looking for. They need to get the support of America. So they got a lot to lose. Well, for me, I don't got nothing to lose. You can sue me all you want. I don't have any money to give. But I'm just going to give the truth. No matter what level I'm at, no matter if I'm training out of my basement like I, when I did when I first started, or if I'm training in this little studio, or if I'm like at the level of like whatever fame, I'm still going to be speaking the truth. I don't support this stuff. And I'm going to make it well known that I don't support it. Because I value martial arts. Body, mind, and spirit. I'm not going to just cut out the spirit and call that martial arts. That's not martial arts. That's something else. Call it boxing. Call it kickboxing. Call it Thai boxing. But do not call it martial arts because it's not martial arts. Call it wrestling because essentially that's what it is. Wrestling with kicks and punches. That's not martial arts. Get your head straight. Think about it. Baseball players, they wear helmets to protect themselves, right? Because if a baseball is coming at your head at 90 miles per hour, it's not going to feel too good when you get slapped on the head. So that's why they got equipment on. Imagine if, if the people all just took off their baseball helmets and started throwing fastballs at each other at 100 miles per hour. People getting slammed in the head, people dying, people going to the hospital, and they call it mixed baseball. Are you kidding me? What, what are you talking about? Mixed baseball? I never heard of mixed baseball. I only heard of baseball. Okay, there's only baseball. There's no such thing as mixed baseball. Just because people take off the helmets doesn't make it anything better. It doesn't make the sport better. It's just stupid. It's like... You know, football players just taking up all off their all their gear and then just playing football, and they call it mixed bit football. It's called stupidity, stupid football, stupid baseball, stupid martial arts. Don't call it mixed martial arts. Call it stupid martial arts, cause that's essentially what it is. It's a bunch of stupid people getting together, destroying each other for fame, fortune, and power. And I don't allow the communications of promotion of that sport within my coon. Because it, it generates a lot of anger inside of me. Because it's destroying the reputation of the martial arts.
Okay. All I have to say is America, they're not ready for the martial arts. They weren't ready when Bruce Lee was ready to share it. And they're sure, they're sure not, they're sure as hell not ready right now. They will never be ready until they're ready to learn from the wisdom of the East. Until they're ready for, to learn from Buddha. From the Tao. From Lao Tzu. But America's not ready. Not as a whole. There's no market for the martial arts. There's a market for the fitness industry. But there's no market for the real martial arts. There's a market for the sport fighting. But people aren't ready for the martial arts here. They're not. So, I see that, I realize that, and I'm going to hold it within me. And for the people that are ready, the few people, the one out of every 500, hey, um, we can get together and train. But for everybody else, you're going to be um, continually practicing something that you think is martial arts, but it's just a watered down version. And it's not even martial arts anymore. It might be called martial daycare or martial violence, but it's not martial arts. That's it.